What are we looking for? Dogs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bird. You know we back on Bird's Eye View with it. Like always, appreciate the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Stop what you're doing. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Hop in the comment section. Comment whatever you want. Of course, I'm dropping daily bangers day by day. You know we got news of the day coming out of Colorado, and we're just going to jump right into it. So everyone's super excited. The anticipation is through the roof for this Colorado football program. Everyone is waiting for week one at TCU. Of course, I dropped the projected offensive starters video. I appreciate you guys for running that up. I know you guys were asking for a defensive video as well. So, of course, I had to bring that. You're going to love this video. We got another banger here. Again, of course, I couldn't fit everyone in. I know it's only 11 starters on defense. Of course, I have a little bit more here because... Coach Prime, he loves to rotate his defensive guys, especially his DBs. So, of course, I have more than 11 guys in this video. But here are my guys that I think that will be projected starters for this upcoming season. We're going to start with the trench play. Jordan Dominic. He's a three-star edge rusher. He's 6'3", 250, out of Lakeland, Florida, University of Arkansas transfer. Just explosive off the football. Great first step quickness and the ability to close. Great flexibility with the ability to dip and bend around the edge. Can turn speed into power. Uh, he started off at Georgia Tech. Uh, he had 103 tackles there, 17 and a half tackles for loss and nine sacks as well. In 2022, he was playing at the University of Arkansas, had 34 tackles, nine and a half tackles for loss, seven and a half sacks, which ranked third in the SEC in sacks. He also had two forced fumbles as well you can expect some high level production coming out of this young man he can really get after the quarterback be super excited for jordan dominic he is going to make a lot of plays for this colorado football program we can keep this train rolling with Derek mclinden the second he's a three-star edge rusher he's 6'4 250 out of decatur georgia florida state transfer just fights through blocks and then covers ground with long strides has a great motor high motor guy great first step quickness uh, has an array of pass rushing moves he tackles really well he's a high energy guy he'll be a great guy in the locker room he's been phenomenal since he's got the bolger if you've been watching the well-off media videos i mean he's just a guy that is just full of energy the type of guy that you definitely need in the locker room he's one of those fun type of leaders that's going to get the guys going and he's going to also get going on the field as well with his productivity in 2022 he started 12 games at florida state he had 37 tackles five tackles for loss he also had three and a half sacks as well this young man can also get after the quarterback i know colorado finished they were like one of the worst teams in the country last year when it comes to sacks so i mean you guys have loaded up when it comes to some edge rushers and you're going to get some high level production out of this young man as well of course we're just going to keep this train rolling with kairi mans he's a three-star edge rusher 6'3 235 out of new rochelle new york university of maine transfer uses his hands very well he's strong at the point of attack he's very quick off the edge has a really good dip and bend ability just a very athletic pass rusher who can really get after the quarterback. He'll more than likely be a strong side defensive end. In 2022, he finished with 43 tackles, six and a half tackles for loss, four sacks. One of those sacks came up against Boston College, of course, who's in the ACC. He also had one forced fumble as well. He's also been a guy who's looked really well in summer workouts so far. I mean, these first three guys here, can really get after the quarterback and it's going to be fun to see these guys get in the backfield saturday in and saturday out for this colorado football program right and of course we're just going to keep this train rolling here with another edge rusher we have taj austin he's a three-star edge rusher he's 6'5 255 out of lumberton north carolina west virginia university transfer just a big physical defensive end with a good combination of size and speed this young man is a relentless pass rusher who will make plays and be a disruptor on this defense without question he displays great strength and pursuit abilities has really good vision and play recognition in two seasons at west virginia he had 56 tackles 15 tackles for loss he had eight sacks he also had four forced fumbles 
as well. He's also been putting on a show in summer workouts. I mean, like I said, he's just a big physical defensive end that's going to be flying off the edge for this Colorado football program. Be super excited for Taj Austin. He's one of my favorite guys coming into this season here. Now we have Chance Maine. He's a three-star edge rusher. He's 6'4", 250 out of Cherryville, Kansas. He was a 2022 Colorado football commit. Agile, has a quick burst off the line of scrimmage. Strong at the point of attack. Will definitely be playing with a chip on his shoulder. Could really be a sneaky good piece for this defensive line. In 2022 at Colorado last year, 27 tackles, three tackles for loss. He had one sack and a fumble recovery. Also a pass defended as well. Be excited for Chance Main. He's been looking real good this summer as well too. So let's switch over to the defensive tackles. And it's only right that we start with Leonard Payne. He's a three-star defensive tackle, 6'3", 310, out of Los Angeles, California, Fresno State transfer. He's big, strong, physical at the point of attack, a run-stuffing defensive tackle with the ability to cause havoc in the backfield. He was a top 30 defensive lineman in the transfer portal. He had a really good year for a defensive tackle at Fresno State, tallied up 34 tackles, nine and a half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks, he had one forced fumble and two fumble recoveries as well. He was really sought after coming out of the transfer portal. Be super excited to have him anchoring the middle of that defensive line. Let's keep it rolling with Shane Cokes. He's a three-star defensive tackle, 6'3", 275, out of Dayton, Ohio, Dartmouth transfer. This one of them dogs Coach Prime be talking about was the first defensive player to earn his number. He is quick off the football, would be a disruptor on this defense. This is a junkyard dog. He lives in the backfield. In 2022, he started 10 games. He had 53 tackles, eight and a half tackles for loss, four and a half sacks. He had one pass defended. He also had a forced fumble as well. Of course, he was all conference in the Ivy League. Be super excited for Shane Coates. This young man is a legit defensive tackle, and he's going to make a lot of plays for this Colorado football program. Of course, it doesn't stop. We're going to keep it rolling with Chaz Wallace, three-star defensive tackle, 6'2", 300 pounds, out of Glen Arden, Maryland, Old Dominion transfer, just stout in the run game, will help plug up the middle on this defense, moves really well for his size, high motor guy. He was also sought after in the transfer portal, had offers from Maryland, Arizona State, Louisville, Cincinnati, just to name a few. At ODU, he tallied up 45 tackles, three tackles for loss, and two and a half sacks as well. I love the way this young man plays football. Be excited for Chaz Wallace. Let's go ahead and keep it rolling with Bishop Thomas, three-star defensive tackle, 6'3", 300 pounds, out of Orlando, Florida. Florida State transfer, tough, strong, really quick off the football for his size. Will definitely be playing with a massive chip on his shoulder. Has looked really good this summer as well. Didn't see the field much at Florida State, but expect some production in Boulder, Colorado. I'm excited for Bishop Thomas, man. I'm loving the energy that he's also bringing to this Colorado football program. These are the type of guys that you definitely need in the locker room, on the field. And like I said, he's really been looking good this summer. I'm excited for Bishop Thomas and to see the level of production he's going to provide for this Colorado football program. Let's switch over to the linebackers. And of course, it's only right that we start with four-star linebacker Demoy Kennedy. He's 6'3", 220, out of Theodore, Alabama, University of Alabama transfer. In 2020, he was the number one player in Alabama. He was the number three linebacker in the nation. He was a top 40 overall player. This was a blue chip recruit. He's just a physical specimen who can really run and finish at linebacker. Nasty, aggressive, just a pure headhunter that plays with reckless abandon. Great first step and bend ability. He actually ran a 10.9 in the 100 meter dash. This young man can fly at 220 pounds. He's a hell of an athlete. He can shed blocks with extension and power. Everything you want in a linebacker, Demoy Kennedy possesses. He even rushed the football at Alabama. He had eight tackles there, but he also had seven carries and 16 yards as well. That tells you the type of athlete that he really is. Nick Saban 
put him in the backfield as well to rush the football. He's a hell of an athlete. You're going to definitely love him in Boulder, Colorado. We can keep this train rolling with Jeremiah Brown, three-star linebacker. He's 6'2", 220 out of Carabelle, Florida. He's a Jackson State transfer, has great vision, reads and reacts really well, strong, sheds off blockers well. He's a really good tackler, wraps up ball carries and brings them down quickly, displays good quickness, just a very solid linebacker who's going to make plays on this defense for sure. In 2022, started 10 games at Jackson State, had 47 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, six sacks, three quarterback hurries, two forced fumbles, a block kick, and he also had a fumble recovery as well. As you see, this young man is just all over the football field. He can make plays anywhere and be super excited for Jeremiah Brown and the production that he's gonna bring to this Colorado football program. Let's keep it rolling with Levante Bentley, four-star linebacker, six foot, 235 out of Birmingham, Alabama, University of Clemson transfer. Coming out of high school, he was a top 10 inside linebacker in the country. Compact and powerful, very physical. Tackles through the ball carrier, consistent and productive against the run. He plays fast, reads quickly and reacts. He's built to play in the box and to be a run stopping linebacker for this Colorado football program. At Clemson, he had 73 tackles. 11 and a half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks, two PBUs, and two forced fumbles as well for that Clemson Tigers football program. He has some good production for Dabo Sweeney, and I expect a lot of production for this Colorado football program and for Coach Prime as well. Let's keep this train rolling with Brendan Gant, another four star linebacker, 6'2, 210, out of Lakeland, Florida. Florida State transfer, plays fast, gets through traffic and locates the ball carrier well, can cover. He actually came to Florida State as a safety. Uh, he was an Under Armour All-American in high school, more than likely to play that Sam position, that Rover position. In 2022, had 33 tackles, one and a half tackles for loss, one sack and one PBU as well. Let's switch it over to the DBs and we gotta start with Travis Hunter five-star athlete he's six one a buck 65 out of Sweeney, georgia of course the jackson state transfer the number one player in the 2022 class number one player in the 2023 transfer portal dynamic smooth just an explosive and special athlete that will excel on both sides of the football has elite ball skills very high instincts he's just a generational talent in 2022 he had nine pbus two interceptions one was a house call against Alcorn State. He also had 20 tackles as well. He finished second in the SWAC and passes defended. Everybody else in the top six played 11 games. He only played eight and he was still second. We're going to keep it rolling with Jaquez Robinson. He's a four-star cornerback, 6'2", 200 pounds out of Jacksonville, Florida, University of Alabama transfer. Coming out of high school, he was a top 20 DB in the country. Long, rangy corner that loves to tackle good ball skills and plays with good technique, has fluid hips, has a really good skill set. He didn't play much at Bama, mainly on special teams in 2022. He only had two tackles, a sack and a tackle for loss. But let's be real, it's Alabama. There are thousands of kids in the country that wouldn't even sniff the field, wouldn't even sniff a uniform at Alabama. This young man is a legit. He is gonna be great for this Colorado football program and we're gonna be super excited for Jacquez Robinson. Let's keep it rolling with Omarion Cooper. Another four-star cornerback, 6'1", a buck 90 out of Lehigh Acres, Florida. Florida State transfer was a top 40 player in Florida, top 20 DB in the country out of high school. A lengthy frame with good wingspan, very comfortable in man coverage, can jam at the line of scrimmage and flip his hips and run with the receiver. Has good closing speed, solid ball skills and instincts at Florida State this past season. 30 tackles, a forced fumble, and three interceptions as well. And of course, we couldn't forget Cormani McClain, Mama, there goes that man, five-star cornerback, 6'2", a buck 65 out of Lakeland, Florida, the number one cornerback in the 2023 class. Just a rare combination of size, length, and speed. Had nine interceptions in high school as a sophomore, followed up his junior year with another 10 interceptions. His senior year, they just stopped on his way altogether. Can quickly close gaps with elite bursts has a knack for putting himself in great positions to attack the football in the air. 
with continued progression, this young man has NFL potential written all over him. You are going to be super excited to see Cormani McLean develop from a freshman to a junior with this Colorado football program. Let's switch over to the safeties, and it's only right that we start with Shiloh Sanders, three-star safety, six foot, a buck 95, out of Canton, Texas, Jackson State transfer, big headache gang CEO, had one of the best commitment videos we've seen in history. He's a thumper. He's definitely going to come up and hit you. He just flies around the football field. This young man is a big time playmaker that you're going to love in Boulder, Colorado. At Jackson State, he finished with 60 tackles, two and a half tackles for loss, five interceptions, 12 PBUs, two forced fumbles as well. He had some high level production at Jackson State, and we expect that to transfer over to Colorado as well. Of course, we know he started his career at the University of South Carolina, so he's used to playing power five football. This won't be any type of shock to him. Be super excited for this young man to make plays for you for this Colorado football program. We're gonna keep this train rolling with Cam Silman Craig. He's a three-star safety, 5'10", a buck 75 out of Birmingham, Alabama, another Jackson State transfer. He's everything you want in the safety. Can cover and he's great in run support, very instinctual, just loves to tackle. This is a fiery football player that would be Colorado's version of the Honey Badger. This young man is going to be a fan favorite. At Jackson State, 111 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, four sacks, five interceptions, 11 PBUs, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery as well. Of course, in 2022, he was also first team all SWAT. This young man is all over the football field. He is a legit dog and he's been with Coach Prime since high school. Be super excited for him. We're gonna keep on rolling with Miles Slusher, four star safety, 6'1", a buck 95 out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He was a top 15 safety in the portal. University of Arkansas transfer out of high school. He was a top eight safety in the country. He was a number two overall player in the state of Oklahoma. Adequate size and very versatile, instinctive playmaker. Has a ball hawking play style. He's a strong tackler who isn't afraid to crash down here on the run just always around the football. At Arkansas, had 93 tackles, two and a half sacks, 11 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, and two interceptions as well. Miles Slusher, be super excited for him. This young man is a dog, he is a stud, and he can really play football, and he's gonna make a lot of plays for this Colorado football program this upcoming season. We now have Roderick Ward, three-star safety, 5'11", a buck 80 out of San Jacinto, California, Southern Utah transfer. Just a well-rounded safety with really good ball skills. Always around the football. He's a very strong tackler as well. Very instinctual. In 2022, he had 52 tackles, four interceptions, 11 PBUs. He had one sack, one fumble recovery. Of course, he's all conference as well this young man can definitely make plays they're loaded at safety they're loaded in db in general uh, but they're really deep at safety i mean this kid can make some plays man and i'm gonna really love to see him in boulder colorado as well let's keep it rolling last but certainly not least we have trevor woods three star safety 6 1 200 pounds out of katy texas last season at colorado he played 10 games he had 84 tackles 66 of those were solo tackles, two tackles for loss, two forced fumbles. He had five PBUs. He had an interception as well. He tackles extremely well, very physical. One of the first defenders to earn his number. He will likely also play special teams as well for this Colorado football program. So again, if you made it this far, I am super grateful and appreciative of you. Again, this is just my opinion. It can go either way, but these guys have been the defensive guys that have stood out to me the most, but they are loaded on the defensive end. I mean, I left off guys like four-star Travis J from Florida State, five-star Savelle Smalls from Washington, Arden Walker, the Missouri transfer, J.J. Hawkins, the Tennessee transfer, Kendrick Breed, love the Ole Miss transfer, Vito Tisdale, the University of Kentucky transfer. I mean, they're loaded on defense as well. We're gonna be super excited. So not gonna keep you long, Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what time it is, dog. Birds have you.